Well, I'm back at the uh, Burton Green HS2 site and we'll have a little bit of a look here and uh, see how it's all going on. I get quite a few comments on this. I do have my own opinions, obviously, but um, I've shared those in many other videos. So today, just having a look and seeing what's happening as eventually they've got to remove this bridge here. It won't be there anymore. Look at that crane. Oh my word. Look at the size of that. Whoa, another one down there. I don't know if you can see it. But that is one big boy. I don't, don't think it's just a crane. I do think it's also digging out stuff to put in foundations or piles or whatever. So we'll have a little look now. There's big cranes going the other way as well. You know, got to get across this temporary road. There is a car trying to hit me up the backside, but I managed to miss it. There, can you see this lot? This is the tunnel where it starts to go down and underneath here. Wow, just look at that. That goes back quite a way. Let's have a look without the wires. Let's just move forward a little bit and then we'll peep through one of the wires. There we are. Wow, that's uh, quite a tunnel, isn't it? And uh, this is the bank that's uh, built up to support this road here. And of course, across the other side is the bridge that is coming down. But lately they've been putting in some piles over this side here. So I uh, suspect um, they're going to have to put some big beams or something across here. Uh, to support uh, above where the bridges, uh, the tunnel's going. So there's going to be the tunnel. Then they want to infill on top, but maybe they need some beams across there or some such to support all the weight of the earth that's going to go there before they reinstate the road. There we are. Just look at that. It's a big cranes there. Yeah, so uh, you can see the other part of the tunnel down there, look, the white bit. That's the other part of the tunnel. Wow, lots of work going on here. I'm going to go over the other side again. Uh, massive great cranes, look at those. But uh, things are going ahead slowly from what I can see and I've got a whiff of the wacky backy I don't I can't see anybody around I think it must be coming out of one of the cars but there we are just look at this that's got a wind generator look on the top and it's got the solar panels as well how about that wow just look at this lot there's lots of people working here That's all right, isn't it? A lot of stuff. Wow, look at that. Yeah, so that's quite a big jobby, as they say. Um, traffic is waiting there, so I shall go across here again. And there's where they're going to have to take this bridge down. We'll have to see how it all pans out. It does seem to be going quite slowly. I can't figure out why they put a path either side of this road. For indeed, had they not put two paths and only one path, um, I mean, they put all the drainage in and everything. It's only a temporary job. They could have got two lanes and there wouldn't be need for traffic lights, etc. Anyway, last look over this way. There we are. And there's the bridge. Right. 
I think we'll hold hard there as I just go round the corner. So there is the other end of the tunnel where we were looking just now. And of course the man over there with his big digger is still digging sand castles, or as I call them, clay castles. But he's having a lovely time, he's digging it up and he's digging it down. I've watched them for ages now, building up that little mound. I think they think they're moles, so they're putting in a mole mound, but it's a giant mole. Why? Because it's a giant mound. There, look at this. They've brought in a lot of aggregate there, look, beside it. I don't know what that is for. Possibly to go with, to bed the line down onto, I would imagine, when they eventually start. Bull rushes down there, look. So this is soggy because the water comes off this land here by the community place, comes out of here and comes over, and then it goes along a ditch along this side here. So hence the bull rushes and the watery um, watery stuff, like you can see water over there as well. This is quite a low-lying area and the water from over by those mobile homes, or whatever they are, uh, and down here the water floods down there, the right. So that's where it is over there. I'm going to stop for a moment. We'll have another look when we get round the corner. Well, thank you for watching, liking, sharing and ringing the bell. Special thank you to all those who've subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed but are thinking about it because you're watching fairly regularly, well, go ahead, for indeed you will make an old man quite happy. And into the bargain, you're going to support the channel. There's that guy making the mound over there. I presume it's a guy. I'm not being sexist. It could be a lady. I, I, I do know I've got a lady friend who is a lorry driver, so could be a lady building a mountain but whatever that's what's happening and here of course is the end of the tunnel there the end of the actual tunnel and you can see all that aggregate laying there presumably to bed the track on although who knows some of it doesn't look like track land aggregate it looks like muck there we are, we will see, and right over at that end you probably possibly can see the um, bridge that we're, and the cranes that we were looking at from the other end earlier on. But uh, of course this used to be the Kettleworth Green 